welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a Java project which is entitled as bully net unmasking cyber bullies on social network before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about the project so basically in this project we will be identifying the cyberbullying messages which is which are all posted on the social media so in this project the authors have proposed a three phase algorithm but we are not implementing those algorithms here we are using a supervised model where we will be training the system with with the data set or the set of uh, cyberbullying words so that the system will be identifying and we will be finding the cyberbullying uh, tweets which are posted by the users on the social network and we will be handling those data so let us see the execution of the project so we have developed this project in java netbeans ide 8.2 so first let me load the project into the netbeans ide so just go to the file menu and click open project now select the source code location and click open project and now kindly wait till the complete project is loaded and this status bar is completed so meanwhile we'll attach the database in the mysql so just go to mysql administrator and go to restore option and select open backup file and go to the source code location and select the database file and click start restore now the restore option operation is finished successfully and click close and close the mysql administrator now coming back to the netbeans id you can see it is loaded completely just click it and make a right click and then select run so kindly wait for few minutes so the project will be loaded into the browser now And now you can see the welcome screen or the home screen of the project with the project title Bullinet Unmasking Cyber Bullies on Social Media Network. And you can see the abstract that is mentioned in the base paper. And here you can see the two entities that is user and admin. First, let me go to the user part. So, as I am a new user, I cannot be able to log in without the login credential. So, let me go to the registration part. So, in the registration part, this is the user registration page where you can update your details. So let me register with the details. and then select sign up so now you can see the registration is success and click ok now go to the user login part with the registered details that is used during the sign up registration part and click login and now you can see the login is success and click ok so in the welcome screen you can see the profile of your profile which are used during the registration part and here you can see the options of timeline tweet all people followers following message view message and logout so these are the option that is available in the normal social media networks let us see those parts right now so in the timeline you can see what, what all the posts that are posed so in the tweet part you can able to post the tweet so for example let me post a sample tweet right now and let me select some image and click post so now you can see the tweet is posted and click ok now coming back to timeline you can see the tweet which is posted by us right now and in all people you can see who are all the users that are available 
so if you wanted to follow some people you can able to follow them by clicking the follow button so if you just go to following option you can see who are all the users that you are following and in followers you can see who are all the people who are following you currently no one is following so it is empty and you can able to message the users directly also from this part so let me show you those options right now so let me log out and coming back to the new user registration let me register with some other user called Ajit and click sign up and now let me log in with that user which I have registered right now and now you can see in the all the people who are all the people available so let me click follow here to follow the person Jay Prakash and let me go to message part and let me message to Jay Prakash Let me select some message here and click send. Now let us log out and coming back to the first user part. And now in followers you can see now the it was earlier it was empty. Now you can see the follower Ajit is being following you. So it has been displayed here with the user ID username and photo and let us go to the view message part here you can see the message that is given by the user Ajit on the this date and time and message what well, this is Ajit how are you and if example if they wanted to send some photo also I can able to send it so these all the part that is available in a normal social media network those parts has been done and now let us go to the part of making the cyber bullying for example let me go to the user let me log in with the user Ajit and then go to the tweet and let me post some cyber bullying tweet here say example this is the tweet and we'll click post and now you can see that it is posted and in timeline you can see that the tweet that is posted by the user Ajit now let us log out and coming back to the admin part here so this is the admin login where the admin login will be logged in with the default username and password as admin and admin and then click login and once the login is success you can see the welcome screen of the admin where admin has the option of seeing the user detail user tweet dueling tweets add bullying word blocked user graph and logout so in the user detail the the admin can able to see the users who are all available with the user id the photo the name date of birth and email id so currently these are the users available and coming back to user tweets here you can see all the tweets that is posted by the users here so here you can see the tweet that is posted by me first and second tweet was this and now you can see the bullying tweet so in this part you can see only the bullying tweets that are being categorized and it will be segregated here it will not show us the normal tweets that is posted by the user so here you can see the the tweet that is posted by us at currently that is that was Ajit I was I will kill you and here you can see the option of blocking the user also so now you can see in blocked user it was empty it is empty right now so now let us go to bullying tweets and let us block this user so click block so now in the if you go to the blocked user you can see the in the blocked user you can see this user which is which which you posted the bullying message was being blocked by the admin and you can see those let us check it out so let me log out and let me go to the user login with the credentials of that user and then click login and you can see the login is failed 
so earlier it was logged in but right now you can see the login is failed because the admin has blocked the user due to the cyberbullying tweet so let us click ok now coming back to the admin part so in the admin part we have the option of adding the bullying words here for example let us uh, select add bullying words and here you can see two options that is you can add the data set here so you can select the data set file and you can submit it or else if you wanted to add some only a few words you can able to add here also so let me add some word here and click submit so in case if you wanted to add some data set you can create the data set here the data set file here and you can upload it so now let me show you with the added uh, bullying word so let me log out and go to the the first user which i have created so let me go to the tweet part and post some sample tweet now in timeline you can see those tweet and now let me log out and coming back to the admin part so in the admin part go to the bullying tweets where you can see the tweet that is posted by me which was added as a bullying word so if you wanted to block this user you can able to click block and now when blocked user you can see this user has been blocked and final part is the graph part so in the graph part this is a dynamic graph which will be varied according to the tweets that you are posting that is normal tweets and bullying tweets so here you can see all the tweets is count as 5 and bullying tweets count as 3 so accordingly whenever you add some more bullying tweets you can see the increase in the graph so this is a dynamic graph where you can be able to also save this data so let me save and show you so here you can see the graph results being exported as a image also and this is all about the project bully net unmasking cyber bullies on social networks and thank you for watching